Heidi ho there friends and neighbors Bobby here today folks today we have a 2006 Lexus ES 330 okay and we are doing a rear brake job in this video here today we're gonna do another video on the front brake job and we're gonna do a video uh, on replacing the headlamp lens on that so if you're interested in those other videos uh, take a look at them too be on the lookout for them um, we're also testing a microphone system today um, it's a new, I can't even remember the name of it, but uh, anyway, we're probably going to end up doing a review on it anyway. Uh, I'm kind of interested to watch this video because when my compressor kicks on, I'm anxious to see how much of that noise from that gets killed out, you know, with this microphone. So anyway, along with the video, what we're going to do here on the back today, guys, is what I call in the business is a pad slap, okay? We're basically just going to replace the pads on the back. We're not going to machine the rotors. We're not going to replace the rotors. I have already mic'd the rotors, and they are well above specification. They have a pretty nice surface on them, and we're just going to go ahead and put a set of pads on today and lube up all the hardware. So stay tuned while we get this done. Okay, first of all, we're going to take a 17 millimeter wrench, and we have a caliper bolt down here that we're just going to break loose, okay? So that was pretty easy. We're gonna go ahead and take our air ratchet with a 17 millimeter socket on there and back this bolt out. I know it's hard for you to see at the angle that the camera's at, but we're gonna go ahead and back this out. Okay, here's the bolt that actually come out that holds the bottom of the caliper. The upper one you do not need to take out because it's just swinging on a pin. And I'll show you that here in just a minute. So I'm going to lay that right there. We're going to uh, get my little flashlight so I can see here what I'm doing. And I'm going to try to pry this back just to see if I can get it up a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to try to squeeze my caliper back just a little bit and then I'll finish it off later and we'll go and pull this on up okay and you see how it slides on this front pin here just like so okay and we'll go ahead and lay this out of the way and then let's go ahead and remove these pads right quick and all right there's a pad on the inside pad and our outer pad right there. So I'm gonna lube up a couple points here and we will get this put back together. Okay, folks, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe some of this brake dust off of these, uh, off the caliper bracket here, uh, our big old pin here. Wiped a little grease off of it and off of our bolt here. And what we're gonna use is some 3M uh, silicone paste. Reach down in there with my finger and just go ahead and lube up this bolt real good with that okay we'll set that aside and we'll go ahead and put some on this big pin right here get it lubed up as well and we'll be ready to slide that back together guys silicone paste actually is better for lubing up um, caliper pins and so forth because there's usually rubber parts involved in a caliper pin and if you put regular grease on there you'll end up Petroleum-based products will actually deteriorate rubber, okay? So that's the reason I like to use a silicone-based lubricant for that right there. Now, on these little steel shims here, I have some anti-seize. I'm just gonna grab some of my finger and put a light coat of that on there as well, on the inside and the outside one. Don't go too crazy with it because we don't want it to end up on the rotor. That's about all you need right there. And that'll help keep that new pad sliding on there nicely. Okay, let's go ahead and put our new pads in place here. There's uh, that one. And our inner pad as well. We'll go ahead and put him in place. Well, we'll see here. There we go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take our C-clamp here and an old brake pad, and we're going to squeeze our caliper back and get it ready, okay? 
So if I can do this. Okay. So we're going to take it and squeeze it back. Just like so. Okay, folks. Now we have the piston and the caliper pressed all the way back. And we can go ahead and put this thing in place. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put our caliper in place. Before we do that, first of all, we're going to uh, put a thin coat of anti-seize just on the back sides of our pads. That'll help uh, prevent some minor squeaks and so forth. So now our caliper is pressed all the way back. Our pins are lubricated. Make sure you don't twist your cable all the way around, okay, one way or the other. Make sure you're putting it back on just like it come off. And we will get it on our back pin over here. I don't know why I'm having trouble there. Probably because we're filming a video. There we go. Okay. So our, and you can see that that moves nice and easily. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and lay our caliper in place. Take our other caliper bolt here and install it and start it by hand before we put the air ratchet on there. All right, with that tightened down, we'll put a wrench on here and just give it an extra little tug. And that feels excellent right there. So guys, this side here is done and ready to um, put the wheel on and torque it down. Now we've already done the other side. Now friends, anytime you do a brake job like this, at once you get your car back on the ground, please don't forget to pump the pedal up before you take off in it, okay? So that the pistons will actually move the pads up against the rotor before you need to actually brake the car. All right, thanks for watching today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.